In this video, we look at the price performance of the big four largest metals markets. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. The four largest metals markets, gold, aluminum, copper, and iron ore, at 170, 165, 155, and 137 billion US dollars respectively, are about three times the size or higher than other major metals markets, with the mid-tier markets, zinc, manganese, lead, and nickel, ranging from around 25 to 50 billion US dollars, and the smaller markets like palladium and platinum, below 15 billion US dollars. The top four, therefore, are a good gauge of the overall trend for the metal space. Gold has been the clear outperformer of the four over the past year and a half because it's driven mainly by monetary factors, while the others are more linked to the industrial cycle. Gold's been especially supported by the huge money supply increase since 2020, with the value of the global gold stock falling to just 7.2% of the global money supply in 2022, which is low compared to an average of 9% over the past decade. This core factor, combined with broader rising economic and geopolitical risks, has led to a 6.7% rise since 2022 and a 4.9% gain in 2023. Iron ore has trended down since 2022, with the metal seen as a proxy especially for economic growth in China, which accounts for well over half of global iron ore consumption. The metal declined through mid-2022 and then started to rebound towards the end of last year after restrictions in China were lifted. However, the price peaked in February 2023 and is now down 10.8% since 2022, although it has been near flat in 2023, up just 1.2%, suggesting that the market see an inflection point with the direction for the metal remaining unclear. Copper followed a similar trend to iron ore through mid-2022, and while also picking up later in the year, did not see the same strong rebound of iron ore into early 2023. The metal is often seen as a reflection of demand especially in developed countries, given their high levels of industrialization and therefore high demand for copper. There have been growing concerns about economic growth for this group of countries, which has driven down the copper price 14.3% since 2022, although like iron ore, it has been near flat in 2023, down 0.8%, as markets see an opaque outlook for the economy and therefore these major metals. Aluminum is often considered one of the broadest indicators of global economic demand, with its market the largest of the big three industrial metals, although still smaller than the gold market. The aluminum price has been affected by a rising supply glut from Russia since late 2022, which has exacerbated its decline versus iron ore and copper, although much of its decline still reflects the slowdown in economic growth since 2022, especially in contrast to the 2021 boom, and it's down 24.9% since 2022 and 7.9% this year. For more on the big four and other metals and junior miners, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.